So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a particular A6 card. And you can of course use any artwork that you have, but hopefully some of the tips and tricks I'm going to show you today will help you when you're designing your own. So in a previous video, we created a card template. This was for an A6 card. Um, we have the front of our card here, the back of our card at the top, and this one here is our guidelines. We're gonna just leave this one off by selecting this eye tool and we'll add it again at the end. So we're going to add artwork to the front of our card first. To do that, select your front here, select that layer. I'm going to use artwork from one of our design kits called Peaches and Cream. And in there, we have subtle backgrounds. I'm going to use sweet pink and mint. I'm going to use the eight by eight paper, bring that in. Then I'm going to rotate it around, hold down the shift key and move it around. And once you're done, double click on here or hit the tick at the top. Move this down. Now you can see this covers your whole canvas, but we're just going to attach it simply to the front of our card. And to do that, we're going to create a clipping mask and it just clips the artwork to the front of our card. Right click here, create clipping mask. And you can see that. You can then still move it around. And we're going to lower the opacity here a little bit. I'm going to about 45, 46. Next, I'm going to add some artwork to this. So included in the kit are some finished arrangements. And in the large arrangements folder, I'm going to drop in the floral drop PNG. And the PNG has a transparent background to it. And if you hold down your shift key, you can move the corners in and scale down the size. So I'm going to place it about here. Hit tick once you're done. And then again, we want to clip this down. So right click, create clipping mask. And you can still move it about to where you'd like. I'm going to do that again. So bring in your floral PNG. I'm going to rotate it. And another way to do that is to right click and flip vertical. And again, scale it down, hold down the shift key to keep proportions. A little bigger. Okay, roughly there. Hit the tick once you're done. Right click, create clipping mask. Next, we're going to add some text. Over in your tools panel, hit T, and then draw a rectangle in the middle of your canvas. And I'm going to use a font called Medina Script Regular. Details of where to get that are down below. And you want to have that installed on your computer first. Um, I've also linked to another font that is free. I'm going to select the font size at 60 and hit enter. And I'm going to type the word thankful. Mine's a little spaced out. So over in my character panel, I'm going to select this and you can see alternate ways of writing this by hitting this one here. So I like it this way. Once you're done, hit tick. Um, using your move tool, hit V or select your move tool and just move it down and place it where you would like. I'm going to add some foil texture to this. Inside this particular kit, we have some foil papers. I'm going to use a mint foil one. I'm just going to drag and drop that into my canvas. And it gives a nice full foil effect. And I'm going to again create a clipping mask, which will just clip to the letters or my word. And there we go, we've got a nice, almost glittery effect word. Now the last part of the card, I want to um, have some detail on the back of my card here. So go down to the back layer and we're going to add a pattern. To do that, inside this kit as well, we have included some patterns. Go down to triangle boho patterns and actions and double click this pattern file and all the patterns will install onto your Photoshop. Back in Photoshop, select and double click your back layer. Go down to pattern overlay, tick that and hit on here. And you can see a pattern has already filled inside. If you want to change the color of the pattern, we've included different colors inside this kit. You can also scale it up, scale it down and you can make it more opaque. So once you're happy with it, you can also move it around as well inside your, your layer. Hit OK. And you can hide that. 
So I'm happy with this file. Next, I'm going to add my guidelines back on. With the guidelines, it's great because this means that we can then delete this black outline so you don't have a horrible black outline to your card. So select both the back and the front card templates. And to do that, hold down your control or command key and select this. Then hit U or go down to your rectangle tool again. Then over on the stroke, go to no fill. Hit your V or your move tool. And now you can see that your black outline has now disappeared. So here is our thankful card. I'm going to show you some more card designs in future videos. So stay tuned. <laughs>